Hey, Calvary by the Sea Lutheran Church. It is good to be with you today. My name is Moses Barrios, and I am the senior pastor at Calvary by the Sea. Uh, pronouns he, him, and his. And I'm excited to be with you today because I get to tell you about Holy Week that begins this Sunday at 10 a.m. And we really would love to have you be part of this journey from Palm Sunday to Monday, Thursday to Good Friday to Flashlight Easter Egg Hunt Saturday and then Easter Sunday. It's just a jam-packed week with so many beautiful moments, reflective moments, moments of, you know, reflection and moments of just joy and that kind of overwhelming joy that just fills your heart with such warmth and peace and shalom. So it is good. This is Holy Week, and I'm here to invite you to all that is happening here at Calvary by the Sea. Firstly, this Sunday is Palm Sunday or Passion Sunday, and Bishop Dave Nagler of our Pacifica Senate will be with us. He will be presiding and preaching for us. And so Calvary by the Sea, we need you to show up. We need you to show up. We need you to come and support our bishop. Uh, let him know that we love him. Let him know that we are excited about the work that is happening here at Calvary by the Sea. Uh, there's This is a part of our values, right? To, to be inclusive, to be intentional, to be involved. And so we encourage you to come out and be part of that. Uh, there's a few things, a few ways you can get involved, by the way. Firstly, if you come around 945, it would be awesome for you to be part of our parade, our, our, our parade just in celebrating Jesus walking in and this triumphant king coming in to uh, Jerusalem. So if you're able and willing and the kids want to join along or, you know, your, your children, it'd be awesome because you could be part of the Palm Sunday Parade experience. That's what I'm calling it because I don't know what else to call it at this point. But it is a beautiful time. There'll be like palm branches and instruments and, um, you know, different flags and just stuff to celebrate. So if you want to come, I encourage you families um, with kids to come out with little ones. It'd be really, really amazing. Second, if you want to be part of the uh, praise choir that's going to be singing at Palm Sunday service. You can also be part of that. That You need to connect with Alana around that. And, and that's going to happen. I think the rehearsal is on Sunday at 9.15. So it, it'd be super awesome for you to be part of that as well. So there's just so much going on on Sunday that you can uh, be a part of. But I'm just, I, I'm just straight, straight up excited that we get to get our bishop here with us. And uh, and then just get to spend some time with him, uh, you know, in a world where we see so much um, pain and suffering, in a world where we see uh, moments that just leave us shaking our heads, I think this is an opportunity where we get to come and s somehow, in some way, through the divine, through the spirit of the divine uh, reclaim our unity, reclaim justice, reclaim equity, reclaim um, um, all the all the goodness that the church offers, all of its its uh, its positivity, shall we say? Because I know we live in a world that looks at the church in such um, I don't know, just in 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 ways that are troubling at times and puzzling at times. And listen, I get it, um, but we as people of God, people of faith are called into the church to uh, reclaim it. Hmm. Did you hear me? To reclaim it, to make it what um, it was supposed to be. Uh, it was not supposed to be homophobic. It was, not, it was not supposed to be racist. It was not supposed to be transphobic. It wasn't supposed to coerce us into anything, but instead free us and give us liberation of God's love that is with us always in our ups and in our downs. And so this week... We enter this story, uh, and, and it's interesting because we enter into a time where Peter, who we've been following through this Lenten season, uh, kind of takes a back seat. And to some degree, we, we see all the disciples who know the full story, right? They know what's going to come. 
yet they're observing all these people celebrating Jesus and excited for this triumphant king that they looked at, which, by the way, was coming in a donkey, right? It's like in a cult. It's like it wasn't maybe the most impressive is what I'm saying, but yet people were cheering and yet the disciples were somewhere in that parade. And I wonder, uh, where, where do we stand in that parade today? What's like our view of it all, right? We know what's coming over the next few days. And yet we also know how this story ends in resurrection. So friends, check us out. Come and visit us. Come and be with us. Palm Sunday, this Sunday, at um, March 24th at 10 a.m. And then we have Monday, Thursday happening at Kilo, I'm sorry, at uh, Holy Nativity Episcopalian Church at 6 p.m. And then Good Friday at 6 p.m. at Kilohana United Methodist. And then Flashlight Easter Egg Hunt. Invite someone, children. you got to register at Eventbrite. Uh, and that's happening at 7 p.m. on Saturday. And if you want to volunteer, we would love to have you come and be part of that. And then lastly, Easter Sunday, Easter Sunday at 10 a.m. It'll be another beautiful worship experience and really the culmination of this week. So excited, Woo, just excited about what's coming. Um, I hope to see you around. Uh, God bless you today. Let's take several deep breaths throughout this day. Just take it in and, 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 and you know, release it over and over again. We bless you today. Much love, much love. I hope to see you around. God bless. Bye-bye.